Well, welcome everyone. My name is Rachel Reese and I am the branch manager at the Washable Library and today I will be demonstrating how to make a centerpiece. Uh, there's lots of activities you can do during the winter when you have to stay indoors and this is one of them. So first let me go over what supplies we have here today. Uh, we do ours on a plastic plate and we use a floral block. This is dry and you will soak it for about 24 hours, submerge it in a bowl, make sure that it's covered. And then this is what it looks like. This one's heavy and wet. And we also put, today we're gonna to use a candle and I will show how we do that. Just kind of going over our supplies. You want some kind of a snip uh, in case you need to cut the greens shorter. So I have little snips from the garden. Also, what's really handy to have is a wire cutter or some scissors, both if you have them. We are using some floral wire today. Again, you can get this at craft store, you can order it online. Um, we ordered this online. And then pine cones and some things to decorate. So we have a ribbon ready to go and we have a couple pine cones. Now let me go through the greenery. I like to put herbs in my centerpieces and my wreaths. I think they add a nice uh, look as well as smell. So this is some sage that I just collected out in the garden. Uh, we have, this is from a bush. This one's not an herb, it's just a nice different green leaf. And we also have, you can see just a variety of greens here. And I believe this is for those of you who are tree experts, don't quote me on that. And then we will get started. So first I put our, again, soaked, soak the block and make sure it's really wet. I put it on the plastic plate. Uh, you could use whatever you want as a centerpiece. Sometimes people have a decorative plate or a long serving platter that they want to build their centerpiece on. That would be fine. Uh, you just want to make sure that since this is wet and you will be adding water to keep your centerpiece uh, fresh longer, that it is not going to leak. So whatever you use, please make sure that it is going to hold water. And first thing I do, I like to put my candle in and then build my wreath, or I'm sorry, not my wreath, my centerpiece around it. So use the greens to fill in the space. Um, you can put your... You don't have to use a candle. You could uh, just build a centerpiece of greens. You could also put your candle in later, but I find for me, I like to put it in first. So that's how we start. And then the lengths of greens, they're about a foot. Um, and something to note with your greenery, there is one side that is a lighter color and there is a side that is a darker color. Uh, again, it doesn't matter which way you want to put the, it, put the greens in, that's up to you. If you put them so that the darker side is up, usually that means that the front, like the ends are gonna be curving upwards. If you want it to lay a little bit flatter, you would put the lighter side facing up and then the fronds are going to lay down. I am going to have it Kind of curve up so it's going to almost kind of cradle the candle that's my idea so uh, you want to insert the greenery into the wet block about an inch to a half inch you need to make sure that it's in there so that it stays and i again i start at the bottom so about halfway down the block i'll put it in and then I'll see how it's laying. And I think that that's gonna be okay. And then I just take pieces and I keep, I, over, I overlap slightly so that the greenery looks full. And by that, I mean, we don't space them out so that there are one here and then, you know, for example, like one way over here. I, I work around my my uh, block. So we'll keep working on that and I wanted to show you if for example with this is a good example. We have a greenery here that isn't very equal. Uh, 
there are more fronds on the my right side. So I'm going to trim that. And this is why we have our clips. So you can just easily snip it off. And then I also trim it so that I have a smaller part to stick into the block. And then I will add it in. And for this one, I'm actually, I am going to move it over here on the other side because it, it works better in the flow. And you just kind of look, I make sure that you can see, you just look and fill in how you want. I will show you real quickly how you would use decoration. Let's say I want a piece of sage. I, again, just trim as I go to the lengths that I need. And maybe I want the sage to come up and around my candle. So for that, I need to measure how I need to trim it a little bit more. And then I'm going to insert it. And I'll do another piece similarly. Maybe like that. And then I will keep adding the greenery. Okay, and after you have filled in, I'm going to tilt mine so you can see it a little bit. Uh, you'll still want to do, or I'll put on another layer of greenery and I will cut it a little shorter so that I can cover the block. You don't want the floral block to be visible. But this is also where I am a little more strategic with placing some embellishments, right? So I will use a pine cone. And I'm gonna show you how to attach the pine cone using the floral wire. So you can do this a couple ways. I'm gonna just clip a length of the floral wire And then take one end, you want to start at the bottom of your pine cone. So top of the pine cone is the smaller end, bottom is the bigger end. And you literally just stick the wire down in among the uh, individual pieces of the pine cone and then you, you weave it back and forth. And you want to push it in. I'll try to get a little closer so you can see. You want to push it in and down and you don't have to go around multiple times usually once is enough and just make sure that your first end is just tucked into the pine cone so i went around about one and a half uh, revolutions on our little pine cone and then you can wire use the wire and you can wire your pine cone to one of the pieces of greenery that you stuck in the floral block. So I just take the other end, I weave it down, and then I pull my pine cone tight. Or you can place it, you can eat that. If I left it there, you can see it'd be on the greenery. Or if you wanna move it up so it's covering the floral block a little bit more, that's fine. And then you can weave your wire back through and around one of the branches so that it stays there and then i'm just going to again i'm going to probably do that twice so that my pine cone will stay there and then turn it and then you can clip the wire And that is how you can, that is one way to attach it. Uh, so I will keep filling it in and we'll, we'll see what happens next. Okay, so now I have filled in uh, the greenery. I used some red maple leaves and a few of the brighter uh, bush trimmings that we had. And I'm, I've decided not to use the ribbon, but I'm gonna show you how to apply the ribbon. And right now, you're looking at the back. I was building it, you know, facing me. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see what it looks like. So we have our pine cone as a little accent. I have a little bird from another centerpiece that I pulled out. 
it was just on a little stick and I stuck it in there and I added a little bit more sage and like I said, the maple leaves. And it created a little bit of a red circle and I liked that accent color. So again, you can use anything you find out in your yard as you're walking around. Uh, this is a great way to enjoy nature and bring a little bit back inside. So if you are going to attach a ribbon or a bow, there are multiple ways you can do it. So we just tied a really simple, like you would a, a, your shoestring or a bow, we made a, we made a bow. And then if I was going to put it in here, I would probably kind of nestle it down in here. And sometimes um, if you use ribbon that has wire, this one has the wire in it, those are really great. It gives you a little bit more uh, ways to manipulate your ribbon and kind of make it, you can make it bigger. And again, you could nestle it in. And honestly, because this is just sitting flat on a table, if I wanted to leave the bow there without attaching it, I could. Uh, you could also tie the bow earlier. Uh, you could have tied the bow, the ribbon around your candle. Like that's one way to do it. I've seen it done like that. And yet another way, if all else fails, you can use our floral wire. So I cut a length of that and I just thread it through the back of the bow. And then I even up my ends. So the two open ends, and then I just give it a twist or two so that it stays attached to the bow. Okay. And then you could use that again to wire it in around your greenery. You could just weave your ends in. Or if you had uh, some embellishment that it was easy to wrap it around to hold it in place, that would be fine too. But for right now, you could also stick it, honestly, you could use the wire and stick it into your floral block. That would also work, okay? And then your bow would be attached like that. So that is how you do a centerpiece. And I'm gonna hold it so you can see it. And if I remove my bow, and it just looks like that without the ribbon.